Chris here again. Time for a new update on my CNC project. It has been now a while since the last video I uploaded, but it has been a lot of small works that are not so interesting uh, interesting to film. A lot of electronic work and all kinds of small stuff. But uh, I will go through now a little bit what I have been doing and uh, yeah, what's left. Here you can see I made a, a new control panel uh, where I will be able to control the speed of the spindle. I will have the RPM shown here. Uh, in this connector I will be able to connect the probe to be able to tell the... or yeah, to zero out the... the set height and x and y uh, here it will be some switches for lights and uh, to control the coolant and spindle uh, i also have put together some part of the the mill now here in the correct place and uh, yeah here you can see the control cabinet i will show you some pictures of that what I have done. I haven't filmed anything when I was uh, doing the electronic works. I have now updated the connectors to uh, yeah this one with, with like a screw connector so it's better uh, better and, and uh, more secure connection between like the emergency stop and uh, the control panel up there here you can also see the this is the quill or the spindle and uh, this part I have uh, made now uh, it will be yeah it's like an aluminium ring so I will be bolting this to this mounting head before it, this has been movable, but I have removed that. So that's one thing I have done. I also have made some improvement of the mounting points. This is the, yeah, what do you call it, end cap for the new electric motor. Yeah, so now the next step will be, this part will be here and on top of this I want to make a, a pulley for the, the belt drive. Uh, the motor will be standing up here so I will need a, a, a belt that drives this and uh, those I haven't found any suitable size so I will be making them myself so at least i will start with that one first and then we will see how big i can make this depending on the supporting bracket for the motor here so i will start with that one
couple of hours of delay. The first uh, pulley uh, was had the wrong distance between these ribs. Uh, so I needed to make a new one. And uh, those fits now perfectly to that good grip and uh, also there uh, this one the same uh, fits perfectly in there good grip uh, I need to make this one shorter but that's first when I know the exactly the, the height compared to that one and how this will be mounted on the motor. For the first pulley I used this tool but uh, after I have measured it it was not really correct one this has a the tip here is 55 degrees and for the, the pulley and the, the v-belt that I'm using it needs to be 40 degrees so I made this special one where I sharpened the tip and made it 40 degrees and that one seems to be as perfect as I can get it and uh, the belt is gripping fine with that one so this is a little bit how it will be of course it will be this one will be pressed down, then the small pulley will come on top of that one. This will be actually the other way around. And uh, the motor will come from up here. Yeah, it could be that this belt is a little bit too long. I need to see the exactly measurement, but uh, it was good to have to try it to see that everything fits. Yeah, I think that was everything for this video. Uh, if you liked it, please feel free to subscribe and uh, hit the like button. And I will come back when some more work is done. Thanks!